It all started a long time ago, before we met. I'm Cindy Revile. Nice to meet you. Just a girl who earns enough money to have a calm life. For a long time, I worked in the museum, continuing to develop my knowledge in the history more and more every day. But at nights, I worked on what was always limited by the tight chains of the law. And then this happened. Task number 786. At the moment, there are too many rumours all over the country about the relic that was created by one of our workers. The man was neutralised back in 1834, but the object that caused a lot of excitement so far in our land is hidden by many riddles, as well as by a secret society club that carefully guards it. Perhaps all the information about timeless space that is forbidden to other people's ears will soon be revealed. You have to diffuse it without opening or studying what is written in there and confirm to people that this is just a rumour that was stupidly created by a madman. A girl named Cindy Revile can help you. She has been studying this for a long time and will help solve all the riddles with accuracy and she will definitely keep the information safe. Upon completion, you will be released from all commission assignments and from a recent document. Why the hell did I get this? I'm tired of being involved in this shit. We broke the contract and you promised to keep me away from all this. Darling, I don't care. If you want to stay safe, then you just have to do it. It's your job to solve this issue. The reunion of the good old team. Isn't this fun? Well, good luck with it all, and don't even come back without any information. Hello, Wayne. I've not seen you for ages. Hello, Cindy. How are you doing? Well, shall we get started? Let's go. I know a good place where we can discuss the plan and hide from the to people. Sounds good. By the way, are you hungry? They have amazing cakes. Thank you. Thank you. I can see you don't change your tea taste, huh? And I can see you're as observant as before. Anyway, how about we just get to it? According to rumours, the relic was created in 1819 and has already changed its location several times and surprisingly still continues to change it. It was first found in 1823. Then a lot of rumours arose and facts came out about some timeless space, which was soon forgotten. It was found in San Marino, Italy, in the Montale Tower. It was seen for the second time in Pizarro, Italy, in the Duke's palace. More precisely, there was a guess that it was hidden in the fountain of newts and dolphins, in the marble itself. The last known location change occurred after the death of the author in 1844. It was seen in Melbourne, Australia, in an underwater cave near to the Twelve Apostles. Did change its location since then? Or is that all we know about it in 1844? Of course, there is a strong possibility that it was moving, but there is an interesting fact. After that, everyone was suspiciously quiet about the scroll. His search lasted for 13 years. He had a diary which has survived to nowadays, where he wrote down all his thoughts, investigations and conjectures. And in the end, he had the hope. That he was too close to the solution because three years later, at the peak of his popularity, the man went missing. 
Well, do you think he was killed? Of course, and by none other than a group of people who protect the relic. Only seven years later, his body was found in Limoges, France. He had multiple stab wounds and a message written on his arm, which were made by the same community, I believe. When you learn you something, something new, new, you forget, forget the, old. the old. So, how are you saying we get into the museum to collect his notebook? She must have forgotten where I work. We have access to three museums and one of them has the notebook. Can we take it that easy? Of course not. But I have a friend who works there and he can close the room and distract the guard. Hold on. Are you suggesting we steal it? Well, yes. Or did you think we'd just borrow it? I have a copy of this notebook here. No one will notice the substitution and they definitely won't look inside. Wish us luck. Let's do it, Wayne. We stole the notebook! Maybe steal the rally. One more? Oh, don't complain. Moreover, it was not that difficult. Well, let's get started. Why not from the beginning? Because I already told you everything that was on the first pages. Yes, this is what we need. And what's in there? The last relic move that Joseph learned about happened or rather should have happened 40 years after his death. And now the relic continues to be there. According to his thoughts, the relic should have been lying on the beach closest to the city, but- But? It looks like there is some kind of poem. Yeah, this Joseph was a weird guy. Anyway, it says something about salty air, empty coast, big rock, and a small box with the key for this secret. I think we need to go to the beach. Or even to appear. Yeah, probably. Well, I guess we're here. We better look for that big box that he talked about in his poem. Let's go closer. another message about the relic. We need to look further, Wayne. Come away. Hang on. It's got a hidden bottom. And another message. We need to go to the Black Knight. Do you remember that place? Why are we going there? We've been there several times and it's one of the most famous places. But do you remember that strange cutout on the wall? And you immediately guessed it was the Black Knight. What? Smart. Someone got here earlier than us. Get off me. Who are you? Same question, darling. What are you doing? It's none of your business. Get the hell out of here. We're on a mission that the architect was seekers too. Get up and go. Wait! Help me look into these boxes. There should be something inside them. Found it. Well, I'm opening it. But we can't. Aren't you interested? I've been looking for this relic for years. I've read about it. I still want to know what it says. The well-known leader of timeless space, Licorice, is not what she claims to be. According to old records and my observations, I noticed strange things in her behaviour. Often workers wondered why she was sitting in her office for hours, and when she came out, she had new documents for people or tasks, but no one even imagined that a certain group of people were behind it. Licorice namely Crocetta Bugadini, is one of the escaped patients from the Technon Clinic. Psychiatric Clinic Technon. 
She is a killer with great experience, as well as a great fantasy and schizophrenia that has haunted her all her life. After she escaped, she began to restore all her plans to reality. Until now, none of my friends can understand how she did it, but it turns out that the entire territory of timeless space is somewhere on Earth, and all the murders that are attributed to this place are just an old woman's sick imagination. No one could imagine that all this was illegal, and those who were killed for breaking the time chain were innocent of anything. All the records that are in a large warehouse of timeless space were collected by people who followed others and fully learned about their lives. But there are a few secrets that remain unsolved. How Licorice managed to deceive so many people, do this time travel in different time periods, find out what will happen to them in the future and have such a crazy amount of money to support all employees. Wayne? Wayne?